Good morning, fellow traders, and happy Friday. We have quite a day ahead of us today with some interesting challenges to face. So let's dig into these charts here right now and see what we've got going on. First off, today I think everyone knows, it's been reported in the news everywhere and everywhere and everywhere, that Jerome Powell will be speaking today from Jackson Hole and he has a tight ro rope to walk this morning. The market's been looking for clarity and obviously we've been having quite a little bit of choppy price action, really, really nasty price action to tell you the truth, uh, where we gap up or gap down in the morning and then end up going nowhere. So this morning, what the market is hoping for is they're hoping they'll find some kind of clarity in the FOMC uh, or in the Fed chairman's uh, address at Jackson Hole. All eyes will definitely be watching. And it'll be an interesting challenge for him to walk a very tough tightrope. If he comes off um, bully, or excuse me, dovish, then we will likely see the market uh, get a very nice positive reaction here as we head into the weekend. Nice little positive push if he sounds dovish. If he happens to even hint, I think, at um, um, hawkishness, we could end up seeing um, those bears attack once again. So he's got a tough challenge here today without revealing too much about what their future plans are. Uh, for the FOMC or speaking out of turn um, ahead of the committee's vote. Um, and it's going to be a difficult task today. Now, one of the things we have been seeing uh, pretty uh, well, certainly yesterday, um, as uh, bond yields fluctuate and, and just expect that Powell's speech is going to fluctuate uh, bonds, Yesterday, we had a bond yield inversion that immediately, let's take a look at our real short-term chart, that immediately created um, a pretty substantial sell-off. But as you know, uh, bond yields started to um, rally and came back around, and so did the market. So we seem to be very much moving in lockstep with those bond uh, markets right now. And that's going to be critical here um, today how how the market is going to react um, around the Fed speech. We're going to have to kind of keep an eye on those bond yields as well. If they start to to drift or invert, um, they're not getting the, the warm and fuzzies that they're hoping from the chairman, then we could see some issues or problems uh, being created um, in the market. So Let's take a look at the technicals here. Beyond the news, what do we have going on? Well, first off, if we take a look, uh, we have price resistance. It runs right through this area of the chart. Pretty substantial price resistance. We also have our 50-day moving average up here and our shorter term moving averages have crossed down. Now I keep calling this, this is a zone of resistance up here and it's just that zone of price resistance and moving average resistance that we're going to have to challenge. This morning if you take a quick look you'll see that the we have a modest um, gap up open that we're looking at this morning. At least that is at the moment. That could certainly change as any earnings results or things like that come in. But the entire market is going to be focused on that FOMC speech. Now, here's the thing. We're likely going to see volatility during that speech. We could whip up and down pretty quickly as he speaks. And then um, anything after that, depending on how the market perceives what he says, um, anything is possible. So just stay very, very focused on price action today. Let's take a look at the SPY. SPY. Um, looking really pretty good um, yesterday, holding up relatively well, even though we had that fluctuating bond market that uh, provided a scare yesterday. You can see um, futures are pointing to just a slightly bullish open this morning. Um, and we can also see that we have that zone of resistance also existing here in, I, um, in the SPY. Can we get enough bullishness to move through or will the FOMC's speech bring out the bears? Who knows? We're just going to have to watch, wait, and react to what we see. Um, there's an awful lot of pressure on uh, Powell's speech today. Let's take a look at the Qs. Qs also 
similar situation, testing that 50 day moving average as resistance, unable, tried a couple of times here this week to break through there, just not quite able to get that done. This morning, we're looking for a little bit of bullish push again here, just recovering just a little bit of the selling yesterday. And um, we once again have that zone of resistance right in here that we're going to have to deal with um, to break through um, to uh, bullishness. Of course, if those sellers do come in, we're going to have to watch these big open gaps. And I should have pointed that out in the other charts. But we've got these big open gaps here that could quickly and easily be filled if um, Powell disappoints the market and sends us down. We have those big open gaps that could fill relatively quickly. There's another one here that could create some ugliness um, if he disappoints the market. So we're going to have to stay on our toes today. Let's take a look at IWM. IWM still not in a good situation. Um, still overall downtrending in this chart. You know, what can you say? This is just ugly. Um, we're also in this current downtrend here. We're underneath our 200 day moving average. We're underneath our 50 day moving average. Um, we have a major zone of resistance in price action um, and moving averages um, providing that resistance in here. So a lot of work for IWM to do. Um, pretty sick overall. Let's take a look at the VIX. Now that VIX kind of hovering around, I'm going to remove those moving averages here for a second, and let's just take a look at the price action. Um, yesterday, I, I had pointed out this price support in here, and we ended up catching that as a little bit of support yesterday, trying to hang on there. A little bit of fear came into the market when those bond yields started to, to invert, and you can see just holding on to that price support. What we need to see today is we need to see Powell um, calm the nerves of the market and allow that to slip back below there. We still have to deal with this um, support of our uh, downtrend here, but that's uh, significantly lower. So there's um, there would be good hope um, if we if we drift down below this level here in the market. However, if Powell disappoints, if that market uh, feels the pressure that there may not be a rate cut, then watch uh, this. We could easily see this spike up, particularly if those bond yields start to invert again. Let's take a look at T2122. That four week new high, new low ratio. Um, T2122 is just one of those great indicators that um, does a great job showing us bearish reversal points and bullish reversal points. But it's no good at all um, in get, predicting any kind of direction when we're kind of wandering around here in this middle zone. And it's a large middle zone. So as you can see where we finished up today, it gives us plenty of upside potential to the upside, but we also have a pretty big opening here to the downside. So with Powell speech, anything is possible. Watch it carefully. We're just going to be uh, subject to how the, how the market spins us, how the market reacts to that news. So with that, let's take a look at uh, that economic calendar today. And really the only thing on the calendar today that anyone's concerned about is the Powell speech. So we'll just have to watch that pretty closely and stay focused on that. There is this new home sales at 10 o'clock that of course has the potential of moving the market around, but everyone's going to be just laser focused in on what Powell is saying at 10. So it I don't know if that's really going to make a difference unless it's a massive surprise. Um, we'll have to watch and wait on that. And on the earnings front, we have a little bit of a break today. Not quite as many companies reporting earnings today. There are some um, um, retailers like BKE, uh, the buckle reporting today. Looks like they reported well moving up here this morning. Uh, Foot Locker. Retailers have been doing quite well, but it uh, looks like Foot Locker has disappointed this morning and uh, pushing the pushing this stock down. So um, kind of a mix of earnings this morning, but a little bit less 
of notable earnings today to uh, really move the market around. Everything's going to be obviously focused on Powell. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a great day and I want to wish you great profits. If this is the first time you've seen these videos, could you please do me a favor and click that subscribe button on YouTube and also click that bell icon as it pops up. You know, the purpose of these videos is not to predict anything. It's to help you prepare for the day, the things that you want to think about and uh, for your day. And one of the things I want to comment on here is just understanding that even with the Powell speech, even if we get some kind of clarity for um, rates, we're going to have to be pretty careful because that doesn't change anything with um, our trade trade war situations, the tensions over there, the possible um, tariff increases that could be coming down the road. Um, there's still a lot of uncertainty. So think carefully about the risk that you carry into this weekend and just realize we could see any news events that could move the market around this weekend. Think about that carefully as you plan your weekend ahead. If this is um, um, a, a video that you feel has been helpful, please do me a favor as well. Click that thumbs up button and leave a comment. That helps me out a ton, helps those algorithms show these videos to more folks. And I just have to tell you, I am just absolutely humbled by the incredible comments you guys leave. Thank you so much. Um, um, you, truly, you are the best. Um, I, I, I mean that. Um, you guys are awesome. So thank you very much. And also, please feel free to share these videos with any friends and family. So with that, let's take a look at some stocks that are still continuing to set up. And, um, <laughs> you know, my goodness, anything is possible today. So we're going to have to be really, really careful. As you know, defensive sector stocks, I've been talking about Tyson here. Um, that has just moved up beautifully since I mentioned it um, um, earlier this week. And remember, any time I, I bring up stocks like this, um, these are meant for a watch list. They're not a recommendation to buy or sell anything. But certainly, um, uh, Tyson has done a great job um, since I mentioned and, and breaking this alert, looking very good. Um, any of these defensive sector stocks, while the market has been a little bit cautious, a little bit concerned, have done well. Now that could change today. If we all of a sudden get a bunch of clarity, the, um, the FOMC appears to be very dovish and, and looking for that big rate cut that um, the president would like to have, then um, we could see these defensive sectors suffer a little bit as other stocks uh, come back around. So watch that closely. But right now, those defensive sector stocks are looking great. Take a look at Hershey. I've been mentioning Hershey this week, and it just continues, continues to climb. Coca-Cola continues to climb, looking good. Um, these defensive sector stocks just really... Um, uh, looking very, very good. LW here, another packaged food. Um, nice breakout here. And overall, this is a beautiful looking chart. Um, holding this this trend that it, it resumed. Breaking through this resistance level um, here. Um, almost a, a morning star pattern here. Looking very bullish um, at the moment. And showing some upside potential. So keep an eye on LW. That's a really nice looking chart, um, in my opinion and um, has, well, may have some future future plans for uh, an upside move. Take a look at CMG. CMG is still holding this trend, although we had a little bit of bearishness yesterday, just as the market, you know, back and forth. But CMG holding up quite well overall, looking pretty good. Another chart, uh, Texas Instruments, TXN. TXN has been holding up relatively well, breaking above this wedge, little wedge pattern here, and just kind of consolidating that move, holding in here, still looking pretty good. We have to wait for the signal in here for um, this to move on up. But right now, hanging in there okay. I also like WDC. WDC has put in, after resuming this trend, has put in this beautiful, tight consolidation here. One of my favorite patterns. I call it the pop out of the box pattern. And it really is uh, just as simple as you can draw a really tight box around there. There's no buyers above this level. There's no sellers below this level. And so 
because we are in this trend, I'm going to be watching and favoring the potential upside move. Consequently, I've placed a price alert here on the chart, and I'm just going to watch and wait and see if this can uh, pop out of this area and provide that next upside surge um, in the trade. So <clears throat> watching it close. And don't be too surprised if this continues to consolidate consolidate over toward its trend. So there's no rush. You put an alert on, make the trade come to you. It's a fantastic way of trading. I do it all the time and you see it in my charts almost every day. Um, those really simple patterns that just repeat themselves over and over and over. Keeping an eye on MTCH here, MTCH, I mentioned this um, yesterday and I think the day before yesterday, um, finally breaking through my alert here and following through to the upside. Now, don't be too surprised if this has to still do some resting or consolidating and come over here toward um, its trend before it really gets a chance to, to take off and go. But um, MTCH still looking very good and um, showing some signs of upside. Charts that are on the other side of the, of the world here um, showing some concern are charts like uh, Facebook. Facebook showing some uh, downside potential here and underneath its 50 day moving average and showing that potential of a continued failure on down. Facebook might be one of those places where you could look for a possible short. Um, there's um, also charts um, that are certainly of concern. Take a look at um, Amazon, Amazon yesterday putting in a failure pattern here underneath this longer term trend, um, underneath some price resistance right here, and a full on uh, bearish pattern here showing up yesterday. So Amazon could be a short or also underneath that 50 day moving average showing that pressure here in um, in some of these key texts that are going to be under, you know, the thumb of the federal government here for a while and uh, their investigation into um, um, antitrust type things. So Amazon um, could be suffering a little bit in there, even though it's looking to pop up a little bit this morning, um, just pressure here on this stock may create um, that short condition. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a great day and I want to wish you a fantastic weekend. You know, guys, this has been a challenging market. This has been a tough market. If you're if you're finding this to be extremely challenging, um, even a little bit punishing, um, I, I want to encourage you to just hang in there and hold on. Um, you know, when I first stepped out as a trader, I suffered. I, I struggled for years as a trader. Um, there's so many things out there on the internet that would make you believe that you can open up an account with, um, you know, a few hundred bucks and be a millionaire in 18 months. Well, guys, even though that may be um, a, a tiny, tiny possibility of, of happening, there are people that get rich quick in the market. That's certainly not the vast majority. The vast majority are a lot more like me, struggle for years, really trying to figure it out, developing the discipline, developing the rules, developing um, the uh, rec pattern recognition that it just takes to be successful in the market. If you're struggling right now, I just want to encourage you, the market will improve eventually. Um, it will get better and we'll see um, great stocks at better prices. So keep that in mind and never give up on your dream as a trader. I know markets like this make you just want to throw up your hands and walk away and said, this is just a mess. I can't do anything here. Um, it punishes me every time I turn around. Well, don't let that be, you know, don't be the victim of the market. Um, make sure that you um, hold on to that dream and work really, really hard in um, improving yourself as a trader. Because trust me on this, guys, after doing this now 15 years full time, believe me, it's worth the effort. It, all those years of struggle, all those years of challenge um, have paid off. And I just want to encourage you to never give up on that dream. So with that, everyone, have an awesome, awesome weekend. I wish you all the best. We'll see you right back here, bright and early, Monday morning. Take care, everyone.